Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, team pilot with RCBattery.com, and today I'm going to do a video that is a supplement to the last battery video I did. I feel this is really important, and it's something that is, uh, I don't know, it's virtually ignored as far as I'm concerned. But buying batteries um, is, a, is a bit of a, a shell game sometimes if you are not buying from really reputable companies, buying from uh, companies that are buying first quality uh, uh, packs that are using top quality cells. What I mean by this is if you go on Amazon or online and a lot of these uh, faceless companies that uh, we're getting very comfortable buying from at this point, uh, these companies are selling uh, at times uh, packs that use cells that are not first quality. They, they are not passing inspection. They're not up to spec, but they're still kind of sort of fine. And they'll deliver power, they'll charge up, and so on and so forth. But there's a huge quality difference. There is a company that I'm not going to name, but they actually got into business and really changed uh, the pricing of lipo packs based on the fact that they went to the factories and said, look, we want all of the all of the cells that are not up to spec, all the rejects. So they took these piles of rejects, they bought these batteries uh, uh, cells at a fraction of the price, assembled those out of it, and were selling the batteries at one third uh, what the main companies were selling them for. And if you had to throw one out of four of them away, it was still in some ways a better deal. Uh, the problem is that even if, you get, if you're buying a six cell pack, the odds are one of these six cells are not gonna be good, or they're not gonna be up to spec. They just won't deliver the same amperage. They will not recharge again at the same rate. And before you know it, it's just not delivering the kind of uh, power that you want. There are two really big problems with this, okay? Uh, what prompted this video is I just changed out all the packs on a big 10 foot jet and uh, I replaced them on my other big jet because I replace them kind of often because I started using these uh, uh, 5,000 uh, 7.4 volt packs and I was getting them on the internet. My main sponsor back then, it doesn't apply now with rcbattery.com, but my main sponsor back then didn't sell the life packs that I needed, the lithium iron packs that I needed and these two cell 5000 packs. So I ended up getting them online. Um, unfortunately, they were failing. Um, I'll give you these two examples here. I mean, these are hard packs because they were easier to find than the uh, you know, regular lipos that we use in, uh, in aircraft. I didn't mind the hard packs, but these packs got so puffy, even though it's only powering receivers, so that's really not with, uh, uh, drawing that much power like you're drawing when you're flying an aircraft. This only, these are supposedly uh, ADC batteries and I'm only pulling power for the receiver and they're puffing up and literally bursting out the, the, uh, the pack. There's two more that I threw away that were just awful. I mean, literally it split the plastic and they were wide open. Um, they're scary. Uh, you know, if you're going to be uh, powering a, a very expensive turbine jet. Um, same thing with the life packs. This is a two cell life pack or a three cell life pack and son of a gun, this thing is, is puffy and this is powering the jet engine. Um, I, I, I can't be taking chances with things like that. It just doesn't make any sense and I don't think you should too. Um, another similar pack, okay? It's just not delivering. It's not charging properly and not delivering. And of course, I'm afraid to put it in my jet anymore. Um, I mean, even, even this is a, I don't want to show the, the brand here, but it's, it's a, a, you know, a popular company. And this one here seems to be failing on me. And this is a, a pack I use for uh, the, the engine, for powering the engine. Doesn't draw that much power, but again, I can't take any chances with something failing. This is a regular lipo pack. 
and um, I don't know from this angle, because I'm just shooting this myself, if you can see how puffy it is. The puffy isn't exactly the biggest problem. The problem is one of these six cells, and this is, believe it or not, a relatively new battery, but one of these six cells is just not putting out the amperage. So one of the cells isn't charging right, it's not delivering, and I tried to fly a, a six cell uh, EDF on this, and literally a minute and a half after it got off the ground, um, I ran out of power and it kind of brought the plane down out in the, in the field. I just couldn't, it just wasn't delivering power. Um, of course, none of these batteries came from rcbattery.com. But I need to give you a warning, and that's really what this is about. You know, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe a, a car doesn't matter or something. It's not going to crash. But I think in the aircraft, especially if it's an aircraft you really like, you really have to put really good batteries in the plane. And, you know, sometimes these nameless companies that are, or, or I, I, they have names, but these companies that are selling these packs on Amazon and online, I'm telling you, it's a very good reason to buy from a company like rcbattery.com. Remember, I don't sell for any company or anything like that. These are just general warnings. And, uh, you know, um, I would encourage you to buy from my sponsors because they're, they're a great company. Uh, rcbattery.com, they're hobbyists just like you. They're people who fly airplanes, drive cars, and they answer the phone, answer the emails, and you're talking to a, really, uh, a real live company. I'm not the face of the company, but there's real people there that are going to talk to you. And if you're having a problem with a pack or having issues or need any questions as to what battery and what uh, C rating to put in your aircraft, uh, you need to do business with a, with a company like that. Um, you know, where the batteries will stack price-wise, I don't know. It just depends on the pack and the company and all this kind of thing. But sometimes it's worth just a couple of dollars more to make sure you get the, the service and everything else that you need out of it. Finally, I want to make sure that we do a bit of a warning that if you do start seeing the battery uh, delivering less power, as soon as you're flying that EDF and you're taking off and you're realizing, wow, this thing is just not delivering the power, that's when you need to be careful because one of the cells is going bad. Um, and when that happens, a lot of bad things can happen. Um, and it, it, unfortunately, it's not like the whole pack is bad, but one cell is definitely bad. And if it's not delivering the ampage, amperage, it will not fly your plane, especially an EDF. Like this one brought the EDF down, but it might find a propeller, fly a propeller driven plane. Okay. It'll still fly it, but you'll see after two, three, four more cycles, it'll just get worse and worse. And again, it's really making a case for buying a first quality battery. Uh, finally, the, uh, you know, the lithium iron batteries, the life batteries, again, one of the reasons we don't fly them in aircraft is, you know, they, um, they charge to this voltage and then they immediately go down to 3.33 volts and they stay there for quite a long time. Unlike uh, uh, LiPo batteries, that the, the voltage just gradually just drops down until eventually it hits to where the voltage is too low to fly. Well, the life batteries do something a little different. It comes down, goes to 3.33, and it stays there. And then all of a sudden you have this very sharp drop. And it's very dangerous to fly um, a regular plane that way because you'll be far away and all of a sudden you won't have a, uh, any power anymore. Um, but that's the reason why you've got to be really careful with these on your uh, uh, turbine engines. Um, if you are flying your turbine and you, let's say, take two flights or three flights and you think you have plenty of power left, if the cells aren't healthy and if you've got a problem with it or it's puffy or anything like that, again, it may lose the ability to fly that aircraft um, and it would be just your luck for that to happen in a really bad spot. And of course, you're talking to somebody who's had that happen in multiple occasions and it is no fun. And just for the record, every battery here on the table 
um, all the ones I picked up. They're ready for the trash. I'm going to go through a, 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 a sequence to, dish, to uh, discharge them. I'm going to put them in salt water and, and uh, try to try to render them inert before I uh, before I discard them. Um, I wish I would have had some of the most recent ones that I had to you know discard, but unfortunately these are just the ones that I have in my shop right now. So anyway, um, I did want to do this video. Um, make sure you understand some of the perils and pitfalls of of buying batteries and buying from the wrong companies or just going on the internet and just buying anything because it's cheap. It's just not worth it. I promise you.